the arrange view gives you a bird's eye view of your song. To move a clip, drag and drop it on a new position. If we want our movements to snap to the grid, make sure you click on the magnet here or use the S key. Clips can be copied by holding down Control or Command and dragging. We can also resize clips by dragging the handles on each side. By the way, I'm not permanently destroying any data that might have been there when I'm resizing it. In reason, this is called masking. Here you can alter the clip's position simply by changing the position values which are given in bars, beats, 16th notes, and ticks. If we happen to have a number of clips selected, the inspector will show the properties of the first one, and if the two clips have different values, an equals button will show up beside that parameter. If you like both these clips to be equal in that respect, just click the equal sign. Our tools consist of our pointer, which we've been using for moving, copying, and resizing. We use our pencil tool in the arrange page to create empty clips. We have the eraser tool for erasing clips, the razor tool for splitting clips, the magnifying tool for zooming in on a part of our arrangement, and our hand tool for scrolling around the arrangement. Notice our redrum has the focus in the arrange view. Double click on the MIDI clip to enter the edit view. You can see the clip that we double clicked on is illuminated and the other clips on the track are dark. Notice that the redrum track defaults to the drum edit screen. We could change the type of editor we are using to view this information over here on the right. In the drum editor, it simply gives the names of the sounds you're triggering, which for the purposes of programming redrum is easier than notes. Now in the edit view, we can see the notes in a clip, velocity, and any automation on the lanes below. Here's where the reason sequencer is really killer. Now just draw in the clip and we're creating automation. Parameter automation in Reason is now vector-based. So to create a point in this line to edit the filter frequency, just click anywhere on the line. We can now move the point around, up or down, left or right. Over on the left here, the gray pointer represents what's called the static value. That means what the value of the control was before we created an automation clip and changed it. We know a parameter has been automated by the green box around it. Different types of automation have different data ranges, and sometimes, if we're not careful, we can copy invalid data from one track to another. It becomes striped red. This is what we call in Reason an alien clip. In some cases, if the data type is similar, you can convert the data. Now let's focus on editing patterns on a pattern device like the Redrum. The process has become much more simplified in Reason 4. Click on the pattern icon and create a pattern lane. Hit record, make some changes on our redrum. We can see the pattern changes that I made reflected in the sequencer. As we play it back, we can see the redrum change patterns. When editing in the pattern view, you can draw in new pattern changes using the pencil tool. You can also modify each pattern change using the pull down and selecting a different pattern. You can delete a section of the pattern lane in two ways by making a selection and pressing backspace or delete, or by selecting delete from the edit menu. If you're working on a track that changes time signature or tempo, you can adjust it with just a few easy clicks in Reason 4. If we want to change our tempo, first make sure the transport track is selected at the top of the list. Hit record and change the tempo on the transport bar. We can see on the transport track that it wrote in some tempo automation. Double click on it, and we can go in and edit the tempo further. Use the pointer and move the points around. Grab the pencil tool and draw in more points. We can also automate the time signature, but we can only draw it in and it operates like pattern automation. Right click on the transport track, select parameter automation. Make sure time signature is checked. If we take the draw tool, we can draw in different sections of time. Then take the pointer Using the pull down, we could select a different time signature for each using the handles. So that's the sequencer in Reason. Simple and intuitive. 